Welcome to this five minute hip mobility workout. This equipment will be helpful, but it is not required. Let's begin seated, and if your hips and lower back are feeling tight, make sure you elevate your hips by sitting up on a folded blanket or pillow. We're gonna begin with windshield wipers. With the knees bent, place your feet wide and your hands behind you. Let the knees fall to one side and then the other. Make sure you take a big breath and lock out your ankles by flexing your toes up. Now, as the hips begin to warm up, walk your hands in towards your body so you're sitting up a little bit taller. Keep those ankles locked out. That will protect your ankles and your knees. And if you feel up for it, you might even reach your arms out in front of you. Find the variation that fits your body best and then just keep windshield wiping the knees one side to the other. And you could even take this one step further, lifting the hips. Just keep those ankles locked out to protect your joints. Find your breath. And if you are lifting the hips, making sure that you're keeping your pelvis right underneath the rib cage, pressing those hips forward. Whichever variation you choose to do, keep your spine long and your chest lifted. Do one more each side, and then find your way back to center. Let the knees fall over to the right. You can always add more of a throne underneath that right hip if you need to. Keep those ankles locked out. And the closer your heels come to your hips, the easier this is. The more of a 90 degree angle you keep at your knees, the more challenging or the more of a stretch you'll get. I like to use yoga blocks under my hands here. And what we're gonna do is tilt the pelvis forward and then bow down over that right shin. Hands are wide, framing that right shin. Do about three, bowing down over and then rolling it back up. Take a big breath and then we'll switch to the other side. So letting the knees Fall over to the left, keep those ankles locked out, adding your throne underneath your left hip, tilting the pelvis forward, maybe blocks under your hands, and then the same idea here. We bow down over that left shin. Remember, the closer your heels are to your hips, the easier this gets. Find what feels good for you and breathe. Complete one more, bowing down over that shin, keeping the ankles locked out, rolling it back up, and then find your way back to center. Carefully extend your legs out in front of you. You can stay up on your throne just to make sure you're sitting up tall and then internally and externally rotate the legs a few times. Then we are gonna take it into a lunge position, putting a cushion underneath your back right knee as you step your left foot forward. Make sure your left knee is stacked over your left ankle. Take yoga blocks under your hands so that you bring the ground up to you and you can focus on lifting through the spine. And we're gonna play with rocking from a low lunge position and then rocking the hips back into what we call a half split position, flexing those left toes up to the sky so you get the stretch all the way into the calf. Now make sure you breathe. And this is for you to explore. Just find what feels good. Rocking forward into low lunge, rocking back into half split. And there's lots of different variations you can take here. From the low lunge, you can reach your left arm back and grab onto your right ankle for a deeper quad hip flexor stretch. In your half split, you can wiggle the hips side to side and bow down to that left knee. Listen to your body and find what feels good. Take one more big breath and then carefully switch to the other side, stepping the right foot forward. Make sure you scoot that right foot far enough forward so that the knee is stacked over the ankle and the heels on the floor. And then play with rocking from low lunge into half split, listening to what your body needs, taking variations that feel good for you, and being mindful to keep your chest reaching forward so the whole spine is nice and long. Find the angles that feel appropriate for you, and take one more big breath, then carefully release that side, and we're gonna go into a squat position. So here I placed my blanket under my heels, and I put my yoga blocks on my blanket so I have a throne to sit on. From a standing position with the feet as wide as you need them, you're gonna squat down. Really flare the sit bones so you make sure you're not rounding into your lower back. Use your elbows on the inside of your knees to open those legs wide and play with this. 
rocking forward and back. If you need a little break, send the hips up into a forward fold. Make sure you take a big breath. Eventually, maybe you remove the yoga blocks and you allow those hips to sink low as you lift your chest high. Whatever variation you are choosing to do, keep your spine lifted. Open those knees wide. Don't worry about getting the heels down or not. Just allow yourself to fold at the hips and lengthen the spine. Maybe rock forward, back, play with it, stretch it out, find what feels good for your body. Just spending some active time in this deep squat is so good for the hips. And that completes our hip mobility workout. Feel free to go back and repeat any of those exercises that feel really good for your hips. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Please make sure you like and subscribe and remember to breathe.